Well, hello, folks. This is uh, Kid David Stewart uh, from my WordPress uh, blog this afternoon. I'm going to read to you Episode 7 of Alligators in the Sewers by Ken David Stewart. Yours truly. Sam was startled when he heard the knock on the door of his truck. He had been reading a sports section of the newspaper and was having a Walter Mitty moment. Sam was imagining that he was the star New York Rangers goalie executing a difficult save in a one on uh, in a two on one situation. Okay, just one second here until I get my page, my document uh, up again. I haven't been doing this for a while, so I'm a bit rusty. So you may have to put up with me for a while or just check out whatever. And uh, let's see where it's going to now. Okay, I think I got it back now. And uh, we'll be back in, in business. Oh, heck, let me just start the whole thing all over again. Um, here we go. I'm using OpenOffice Writer for the uh, print part of uh, my blog today. And, uh, okay... We're getting closer now. See episode six. Ah, episode seven. Okay, let's go now. Episode seven. Oh. Sam was quite startled when he heard the knock on the door of his truck. He'd been reading the sports section, was having a Walter Mitty moment. He was imagining that he was the New York Ranger star goalie executing a difficult save in a two-on-one situation. Sam moved his head towards Joel and said, you must be the new guy that Ian was telling me about. Period. Yeah, that's me. I had to take a taxi as I got up a bit late and I didn't set my alarm clock properly. No problem, Sam replied. The traffic is more congested than normal this morning. Wonder what's going on up ahead. Sam's truck began to shake violently, and a low rumbling sound was heard a few feet to the left of the driver's seat. Holy crow, what's happening, Joel said as he turned his head to see a large, thick white neck trying to push a manhole cover off its head. What the heck is that? Sam asked, his face suddenly turning pale. My best, best guess is that it's the head and neck of a very large albino alligator, Joel answered. I heard the urban legends about alligators in New York's uh, sewer systems, but I never believed them until now, Sam replied with a trace of a tremor in his voice. Sam and Joel weren't the only ones to notice an enormous albino alligator that was now using its awesome strength to maneuver itself from the depths of the sewers to a major downtown street in New York City. A UPS driver quickly turned his steering wheel to the right, trying to avoid hitting the monster that he could now see only a few feet in front of him. As a result, his truck collided with Sam's, but fortunately, it only hit the side of Sam's truck that was well behind the passenger cabin. Joel and Sam both felt the truck shake, but they were only startled, not injured. Okay, that's a very short one for today. And I just uh, want to thank you for listening in to my podcast. It's also on WordPress.com. Uh, uh, so you'll be able to find it there too. So I'm just going to get back to my audacity here and uh, see if I can get properly signed off. Okay, thank you very much.